Hey there, strangers! My name's Eos, and welcome back to Oregon Trail! Last time, uh, the zombie apocalypse apparently happened, we met a traveling priest that we then had to shoot because he got infected by zombies, and then we had to flee Washington, D.C. before they nuked it and would have killed us all. So we, we've made uh, some distance. I will actually know. Does it tell me how far I've gone here? Um, no, I, if I left, I could go see how far we've gone. It's probably been like three, four hundred miles or something like that. Uh, we've been to multiple places, we've killed lots of zombies, and then, where is he? Where is he? Squiggles went off to pee and got himself bitten by a zombie. I don't know, I don't want to know where Squiggles got bitten while he was off to pee, but Squiggles got bitten by a zombie and we're gonna have to kill him. We're gonna have to kill Squiggles, he's gonna turn into a zombie and try to kill all of us. Why could it have been Meat Shield? I don't care about Meat Shield, I named the Meat Shield. Which means they're gonna live the longest because of reasons. But, uh, so we are currently here in... Was it like Indianapolis or something? I don't remember exactly where we were. But, uh, before we leave to go about our journey, we need to, uh, do some stuff around here. So let's see if we can find some jobs or some jobs. Ooh, because this is, a uh, normal difficulty and danger, dangerous difficulty. It's a tire! I mean, like, tires are useful, but, like, uh, $18 isn't very good either. For dangerous, you can give me 18 bucks? It should be, like, 50 bucks. Because money's not all that useful anymore, but what do we have here? If having trouble sleeping, keep, uh, seeing movement outside, come protect me. Okay. And then I see there's a large number of zombies just outside my home. Please come eradicate them. For both of you, but both of you people right here, if you are living somewhere that there are zombies outside your house, move! I could kill them now, they're gonna come back later. They're zombies. There's always more zombies. These are both stupid people. They're not really offering me much. Um, I could probably use some money. Uh, like, or should I just go scavenging? Let's get some money and we'll go scavenging. So hopefully, uh, I'll survive because I think I've got quite a bit of money. I mean, my ammo. Hope I've got eight. I've only got 80 shots left? Oh no, I started off with like 300. Ah, oh, I missed one. Like 300. I don't know. Oh, this is terrible. This is, a, this is a bad idea. It's a really bad idea. I should check my supplies before I took the job. But no, I was just like, hey, you want 18 bucks? Go fight zombies. Like, sure, why not? And then I got there and I checked my pockets and all I had was like, lint and a toothbrush and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll just fight the zombies with this and then I'm a guy who a gun out of it or something. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just, there's zombies and I'm afraid. Either I die. No, no bad zombies. I, oh, I don't know. If I run out of ammo, because this is me. I'm pretty sure I'm playing as me. I don't know if I just die. Like, I also, I just realized this is the equivalent of an Oregon Trail, which I mentioned that a lot in the last episode, if you don't know. Uh, there's an old game called Oregon Trail, which is about settlers going to the Old West. Um, that's very, very much like this. That's why this is Oregon Trail. It's kind of a funny. So, oh yeah, it's about the attack! And it gave me 18 whole dollars and wasted half my ammo, because I'm a genius. But those areas right there, that's like in, um, Oregon, o Oregon Trail. Oh no. Uh, you just start taking a counter right there. Take a tally, because I'm going to get these mixed up a lot. You can see how many of those by the End. So let's go ahead and go, um, we're gonna go do some scavenging real quick. But this right here where you scavenge, um, in Oregon Trail, this was one where you'd go around, uh, shooting buffalo and foxes and, uh, raccoons and stuff like that. And you would use that to, uh, uh, get your food because you could, like this one, you can't do that because they're zombies and you can't eat zombie meat. I mean, you could, but you could probably do it like twice and then you'd be a zombie and then you'd be dead. So it's probably not the best idea. So either way, oh, I gotta achieve it. Silver bullet! For, I don't, why, why is it si silver? Silver bullets don't work on zombies. That's a werewolf thing. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I didn't get a bronze bullet. I would see like, you know, bronze, silver, gold if I was killing a lot of zombies. But that's not the case, so I have no idea. Either way, you can just die now. So, um, I, I'm trying to scavenge. If you like drop stuff, thank you. I found five dollars. I found like a third of the money I got for earlier when I was defending someone's house. So much money or ammo. I only have 38 bullets. I need to spend my money on bullets now. So actually, is there a in the last one? I found a combat trainer guy, which apparently would make my bullets go faster because of reasons. Uh, no, it didn't look like there's a thing. I almost left. I don't need to leave. I need to buy bullets is what I need to do. All right, so buy ammo. So 20 bullets is 11 bucks. So I can buy 40 bullets. And now I'm broke! I've got eight bucks, so I can buy a hamburger from McDonald's and then probably die just like I would if a zombie ate me. That's, a, that's not the point. I'm apparently not sponsored by McDonald's because I just spoke very badly about them. Anyway, we, um, how much do I have? Uh, food? I got, oh, I got a lot of food. I could probably sell food. No, I don't want to sell food yet. Uh, ammo's good. Fuel. Oh, I need fuel. Okay, we gotta sell some. I was almost really bad if I did that. Let's go ahead and sell some food because I've got a lot of food. I hate selling the food. But I've got a, I've got like way too much. I almost have too much. Food. I 
I'm so, oh, 150 ounces of food. That was like 150 pounds of food. That would be a lot. I don't know how much 150 ounces would be. But it's, it's quite a bit. But either way, so we get uh, 15 bucks, and then hopefully I can buy some uh, fuel? No, let's uh, buy some fuel. Buy fuel. No. Need fuel. Fine. We're going to sell a little bit more food. Because I, I don't need food. What's, what's food for? It's good for nothing. Nothing. Oh, cool. We got 777 seven, seven food. That's kind of cool. Uh, either way, buy fuel. Give me two. Two gallons of fuel. Yay. Or is that two, like, tanks of fuel? I don't know. Either way. Oh, the. And the last one I was making fun of the guy because he said a tank of fuel will get you about four hours of driving. It probably meant, like, one of the tanks that you, like, hold and walk around with, not, like, a tank of gas on your car. But either way, we're gonna leave now and we're gonna head towards the farmland. Yay! Generic farmlandville plays town. Okay, so you hear gunfire from nearby buildings. Okay. D what wh What about it? We didn't do any... <laughs> what? Okay, so, uh, your tire... I should have done the job and gave me a tire. Oh, uh, why? Like, right after I decided not to get tires. Your tire pops while driving over some debris. Uh, you replace it from the supplies. Yay! I actually had another tire! I have no idea how many tires I have after that, though. So, act zombie activity is medium. So, zombie activity is high! Don't like that. So, zombies, I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be worse the further we go west, even though that's where we're going to get away from zombies, which makes no sense. So, someone in a zombie costume bites me. Shield, wait, no, that was a real zombie. You all suck, and I hate you. <laughs> Why? Why do you all suck so bad? Like, uh, oh, I can stop any time. I didn't. I just realized what stop is for. It's for like resting. Okay, so you can find a backpack with some canned food in it. Okay, so oh, uh, hi, the farmland where we have guy with no top of head and arm, and lady with no jaw, and farmer in flannel. Who's apparently green. The Hulk is here. Th these are zombies. The Hulk just showed up and started farming and then things went really badly. Also, that zombie back there is apparently naked. We, we got a streaker zombie, and I do not need to see that. Thank you very much. All right, so my party is about to die because I didn't actually realize I could have stopped and rested uh, wherever I wanted. So what do you say we go ahead and rest for a little bit? Let's rest for like four hours because we've just been driving like nonstop. I rested four hours... In all of the last episode, we've gone like 500 miles and we rested for four hours one time. But I mean, I guess if I'm the only one driving, I'm the only one who really... That matters for everyone else can sleep in the car, I guess. I don't know. So Squiggles and Meat Shield very slowly regain health. So I'm assuming over time, they... Wait. I don't know how that works. I just realized I have no clue. Either. I was thinking that once they died, they come back as zombies and kill people. If they're infected, will they just turn after a certain amount of time? No, it can't be that. That wouldn't be fair. It's a zombie apocalypse. Who cares? Um, that would seem unfair because everyone could just get bitten once and then, oh, well, too bad. But if I manage to manage them well enough and keep them alive, then it seems... Oh, we're actually... That would use up food if I'm doing this. So resting too much is a bad idea. I just realized that. I was thinking, like, oh, I'll just keep them alive forever. Um, yeah, let's not do that. So, but managing them this way seems to make more sense. They go down quicker, but if they die, then it's bad, and yeah, and then they can kill me. So uh, I need to m remember to shoot squiggles in the face later. So this is terrible. If I get everyone infected and then I make it to zombie Oregon or Oregon land or wherever we're going. It's somewhere in the e west. West. It's that way. It's west. Yeah, I'm pointing. That makes sense. It's somewhere to the west. Then we're just going to bring the zombie virus because we're a bunch of jerk bags. <laughs> That's really stupid. Oh, you're about to die. Uh, Repair. How much can I repair? So, oh, I've got five scrap. This. Oh, cool. It actually shows you how much you would repair. So, wait, what? So that's 20%? Oh, it's just percent of success. I don't like that at all. Okay, should I just... I'm gonna do this. 20% chance. Go. Go now. Do it. Do it. Succeed. Did you, did you succeed? Did it fail? I think... Attempting... No! I was hoping that would... I was just gonna, like... I could do this, and... Then, I don't know. Like, two chances of this. Is that as good as that? I don't, I don't know. Just do that. Do time passes. Yay, we're attempting to fix the car. Hurry up. See, it, how does that make sense? I'm using up two scrap. Stop failing! Oh, uh, fine. I, I, I'm just gonna have to hold off on this until I can get more of these. But it seems like if I used up three versus using them one at a time, I still use three. So shouldn't that still give me the equivalent of like a whatever percent chance? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Set pace, upgrades, don't have anything to upgrade. Roadmap, we've made it to there! <laughs> Wow, we've made it so far. It's amazing. All right, fine. See, uh, does this town have any jobs? I just realized that we're in a new town and I haven't done anything here yet. Or is, it, is this new? Suicide difficulty, no. For $24, it's suicidal. There's a group of hostile folk who have holed up in a nearby building. I think they mean to take over. 
you're wanting me to just shoot people then. Not zombies. I don't know if I'm cool with that. I mean, zombie apocalypse, that sort of thing's gonna happen anyway. But if I can avoid it, I'd prefer to. I've got $2. I got $2 and you want 80 bucks to make a find more money than anything else while scavenging? Oh, that could be useful. So I could buy stuff from you. Can you teach me so I can go get money and give it to you? I don't know. Um, it's fine. So I guess we're gonna do some scavenging real quick because I need supplies. How much ammo do I have? 78 uh, ammo. That's good. Let's just go ahead and scavenge. Uh, probably die. Let's go get this candy over here. I'm still... Did I say that in the last episode of this episode? I don't remember. One of the episodes I mentioned um, that I'm playing this because it's Halloween. Yay! I said that in the last one. But I'm noticing there's a lot of Halloween-oriented stuff. Uh, currently in this. Like, these are like, uh, how, ooh, money, 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 yeah, there we go. Please be like $500. It's not going to be like two bucks, but I want it to be like more money. But there seems to be a lot more Halloween oriented stuff, like these candies, these uh, zombies that have uh, jack o' lanterns on their heads. And instead of a fire, we have a jack o' lantern fire. No, 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 I need, I need that. I need you to stop so I can get this. Get it, 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 yes. Okay, yes. I found 20 bucks. It's actually not too bad. 20 bucks is good. Okay, okay, how much ammo? We got a little bit of ammo. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do one more. I shouldn't. How much money do I have? I only have $22. I need more than $22. I need more fuel, too. Fine, scavenge. We scavenge one more time before we move on. It's good. It's, oh, there we go. Food. Food in the shape of Halloween candy things. I say bar. It's not a candy bar. I've seen it. There's one called candy, which is a candy bar. <gasps> That's a knife. Is that a knife? Looks like a knife. Come on. Give me, give me. What is it? I don't, I don't know what that is. We'll find as long as I survive, we'll find out what that is. So let's kill you. Kill, ooh, a blue candy. It's gonna be blueberry flavor. I love blueberries. Give me some blueberry candy. So no, nah, none of that. No, 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 no. I don't actually know how close they have to get to bite you because I, I have actually not been bitten yet. Kind of proud of that, but I don't know how. Uh, what, like if they have to overlap you or if the sprite touches you at all, if it counts. If that's the case, I got really close a minute ago. But I don't actually know how uh, long that is or how, how how it works for you to get hit. Yes, I found five scrap. Okay, that that was. Not quite as cool as I was hoping it would be, but hey, scrap's pretty good. All right, so, oh, I could fix my car now. I could if I had just saved that scrap from earlier, you stupid idiots. You know what, fine, we're just gonna do this. Seven scrap, we have seven scrap, we use seven scrap, we get 77% success. All right, cool, so onward, fix my car. If you fail, I'm going to break Jenkins in half. Wait, not Jenkins, Squiggles. Squiggles is the one that, no, come on, come on. Yes! I used up so much and I barely touched my car. Yay, I fixed, how much was that? Is that like a fifth of its health or something? I have no idea. So, okay, we don't want, um, can't, we can't afford anything really. So how much supplies do we have? We got fuel, we got fuel. We got no scrap because I used up that. Uh, hopefully I don't, like, that didn't count for like broken tires and stuff. I have no idea. Food's good, med kits are good, ammo's good, tire, you got one tire. Okay, tire is something separate. Batteries, mufflers, and money. Okay, I think we're good for the moment. Everyone's not dead, not dying. Well, two of them are zombies. A bike gang follows you out of the settlement. Okay. Dr uh, what, you got a driving game now? I've already played this for like 45 minutes. You're giving me a new game type? That's kind of cool, actually. Game type? Game type. Game style. One of those. Okay, bandits will try to um, pull up next to you and shoot. Crash into them and knock them off their bikes. Oh, I... I don't even... Okay, cool. Oh, what is this? What is this road rash BS? I love it. Do it. Come on. Bring it. No. None of that. None. No. Zero. Absolutely none. I like this. And you know what? I'm I'm fine with this now. Yeah, eat it. Eat it, you stupid biker douchebags. Die. No. Don't fire. Don't fire. Don't fire. Yes. What? Grand Theft Auto? No, this, this does feel a lot more like Road Rash. I love... By the way, Road Rash. That's a fun game, right? Old-timey old people who know what that is. Oh, I love Road Rash. Either way, die. Die. It was a Genesis. I think it was on the N64 as well. I remember playing that. That game with cheats was insane, but more importantly, I am murdering so many people. I know they were gonna try to kill me and steal my stuff, but how long- How fast are we going? Those people are still rolling! That's, uh, that's disturbing. Okay, you survived the attack. I didn't even take damage in that attack. I kicked all kinds of butt. Also, nobody seemed to know- So, like, the town's here, and we got out here. It seems like the town should be back here. Either way, so it's uh, 160 miles to there. Uh, Heavy Rebel has rendered your car stuck. Thanks! Great, love it. Okay, didn't, I'm assuming that just wasted time so that we uh, use up rations and people get uh, damaged and stuff. You get lost in the backcountry uh, road for an hour. Okay, an hour's not bad, or is it half an hour? Maybe, I think it said an hour, it didn't really matter. Some activity's low. Next landmark is that far, you found some wild fruit. Is it good? Maybe, I don't really know. I'm, I'm assuming that might uh, give you some uh, food. So uh, Meat Shield walks off and, uh, okay, you were already bitten, but still, 
What are you doing to get bitten while you're taking a pee? Also, Meat Shield's a woman, so she couldn't have bitten bitten in the same way, but it could be similar, still bad either way, because you're gonna be a zombie now. So, um, following a, a wake of vultures had led you to food. Hi! How are you? Welcome to our fair city of Chicago! I'm going to wash your windshield with Kool-Aid that I have put on my hand. Also, I am Hulk. Okay, so, uh, help. That's not gonna happen. Upside down car. Buildings and stuff. There's a real- <laughs> it's a big zombie. It's just like, here's a window, here's a window, here's a window. That- That zombie is three stories tall! Is nobody going to address this because that's terrifying? No? Okay, cool. Alright, so, our party is- actually, our party's doing pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and rest for like, uh, two hours and try to just, uh, heal up these guys real quick. Including me, because I seem to heal, like, the slowest, and I'm not entirely sure what- or at all. Do I heal at all? No, I, I don't heal. So, um, why- why don't I heal? I don't know, is it only from, like, when zombies are around? Because I haven't been getting- I don't- I'm pretty sure I haven't been bitten by a zombie yet. Maybe it's because I'm the leader and I eat all the food and then- I don't know. I have no clue. Is that- that would be why my health's not going down. It's not why it wouldn't be going up. I have no idea! It's because, uh, like I said, I'm- I'm playing this game blind. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just having fun with it, because it's- it's fun! I like this. I I loved Oregon Trail. Oregon, I said it right that time. Oh, our pace is it slow. Go normal! What is wrong with you? We're gonna do that. Okay, um, back in the day. Like, back in the day- I mentioned this the last one. But back in, like, the 90s, every kid in America who was ever attended a school well, in, in the 90s, I said ever, but in the 90s, played Oregon Trail, because it was like the one game we were allowed to play in school because it was quote-unquote um, educational, I guess, even though it was it was this, but without the zombies. This didn't really teach you anything. It was like, hey, back in the olden times in the Old West, people got dysentery. And that's pretty much all anyone ever learned from that. Also, that apparently, um... Like, one group in a, uh, in a caravan killed all of the buffalo ever. Because every time you would hunt buffalo, you'd kill, like, 30 tons of buffalo. More than that. It was way more. It's like, 300- Oh, money! It's a lot of money! Oh, and, oh, time don't run out. But you kill, like, a bajillion pounds of buffalo, and you carry, like, 20 of it back to your, uh, to your, uh, wagon! Because you couldn't carry anymore! I need the money! 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 Yes! 70 dollars! That was so close. Because that that's just time. It'll run out on its own. It doesn't care. I almost didn't get that seventy dollars. It's like real world. I would like to find seventy dollars. I wouldn't want to fight a horde of zombies for it. But that's actually really good. All right. So combat training. Okay, it's not the right one. How do I? Where's the one where you actually get combat training? Is that here? Auto. Who auto shop? What does this do? I can buy parts. That's really cool. Oh, I can buy an upgrade. So um, likely less likely for muffler to break. Is that important? Like I. I'm gonna show my ignorance here. I genuinely don't really know what a muffler's for. So, I mean, I, I, well, I take that back. I think it's to muffle the sound. That's what a muffler's for. So if it breaks... Oh, if it breaks, you would attract more zombies. That's really obvious. You're an idiot self. But it's fine. Um, is there any jobs I can do real quick? Okay, before I do that, do I have any, uh, ammo? Let's see what supplies we got here. Ammo, 56 bullets. I believe that would be good enough to take on a job. So this is normal difficulty and dangerous difficulty. It'll be 20 bucks. I'll need a med kit. That's pretty good. So it's 20 bucks. So I, uh, dropped something of great value to me just outside of town. If you could find it, please, and return it, that would be absolutely wonderful. So there's a large number of zombies just outside my, outside my house. Eradicate them. Hmm... $20 is a lot. In this, in this world, $20 is a lot. Like, in reality, that would give me, like, you know, three meals from a Chick-fil-A or something. But in this world, it could buy me a lot of stuff, so let's go with that. Please don't make me die. I prefer not to die after- okay, let's aim. Eh? Yeah! I got an arm shot. I was about to say headshot. It was not a headshot. Huh? No! I threaded that needle and that was a bad thing! Th Stop threading the needle, me! Be- be, like, blunt. Run into things. Have terrible aim in a good way. There we go. Kill you. And shoot you again. Run your stupid pumpkin face. There we go. Kill you. And kill- uh, that's not even the one I was aiming at, but it's fine. See, little do you know, these aren't zombies. This is just a bunch of nudists who would, like, love the color green, and they just, like, jumped in a big pile of green. I don't know where I was going with that. They, they they were just rolling around in the grass way too much, and they just turned green, or maybe they're all sick. I don't know. I'm just being stupid, but I think I'm gonna survive this. I have just earned $20, and I have not been bitten in the face by a single zombie yet, and that's glorious. I have no idea why I don't have full health, though, considering I have not been bitten by a zombie yet. I think. 
but pr I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm sure someone could probably go back and look at the, uh, the last episode, and Five's like, oh, you nicked this zombie in this one spot right here that I totally didn't notice. But uh, for the moment, I think we're good. Okay, so we need to pick up something. So I did one of these before in the last episode, where I need to not really bother with the zombies if I can avoid it. I'm just gonna outrun them, because these are shamblers. I'm apparently a shambler too, because I can just barely outrun them, or outpace them, or whatever. But if I can ignore them, and just go this way, then I can just save ammo. I just need to pick up a specific item that is over here. I'd prefer not to get bitten by the zombies if I could. Okay, you die. Thank you. There we go. Okay, I need to pay. There's gonna be a crate somewhere over here, but I want to... We're playing this like a real zombie apocalypse and trying to save all of our uh, ammo money. Money ammo, whatever I'm trying to say. And yeah, I, I could see in a zombie apocalypse ammo becoming money. You made it. All right, cool. So I'm actually kind of glad they tell you what you're going to earn before you do it. So it's not just like, hey, you earned a toothbrush. Enjoy. I don't know why I said toothbrush twice in this episode. <laughs> Lint and a toothbrush are apparently my go-to things today. Either way, so everyone here is good. That's good, good. So how much? We got like... Five? No, we've got like eight medkits now, I think, because I think I had seven before, which is awesome. So that should hopefully keep these guys alive if they start getting all zombified. Um, or these two specifically, if they start trying to zombie me, I can throw a medkit at them, and by Final Fantasy VIII logic, that should murder them, because I throw healing potions at them. All right, so I can't repair you at the moment. Set pace is still going to be medium. I'm going to leave it on uh, normal. Upgrades can't do that. Roadmap. Supply. I really want combat training. Scavenging. Do I? Need, I've got a lot of food. Food's good. I will need to buy ammo. That's something we need to buy. So town, um, buy some ammo. So much money. Oh, I've got enough money to buy. Th oh, wait. Is that? So cost is that that's all the ammo they have. Oh, 16 stock. I'm gonna buy all of your ammo, please. And then the zombies are going to attack, and I'm gonna leave because I bought this ammo. I'm not saving your shop with my ammo, and then you're all gonna die, and that makes me a terrible person. But either way, I get to keep the ammo. All right, so I think that's pretty much everything we have to do here. So onward we go. 196 miles to the remote shack, because I totally know where that is off the top of my head. Also, I didn't notice the back here, like all these buildings are all wrecked. It's really cool. Some of the zombie costume bit squiggles. Squiggles. Squiggles has already been bitten. I don't care. It's fine. Was that actually a someone in a zombie costume? It's like that scene from Zombieland. <gasps> you get caught in a blizzard! Where are we? What, uh, should there be blizzards? Are we going south? I thought? I don't know. So you come blizzard, um, the cold will tax your health and you will have to drive more cautiously. All right, cool. So that did that force it to go slower? Is that why earlier I was driving to slow pace? Because I didn't select to go at a slow pace. At so one time, it said that we were driving slower for something. Maybe I had to turn it back on. I don't really know. So the gas is like, you lose half a can. Oh, how much do I have? Uh, gas, fuel. Oh, I have 14 cans. I guess that's okay. The sky clears up. Continue. I'm going to have to stop and heal someone soon. You swerve to miss a squirrel and get stuck in a ditch. We could have eaten that squirrel. I would feel bad running over a squirrel, but this is the zombie apocalypse, and at the end of the last episode, you made me eat roadkill anyway. So I would take it, I guess, if I had to. I'd prefer not. So, uh, fuel can went missing. How? Are we just in here? I mean, did someone get out to go take a whiz, and then they dropped it out of the back like an idiot? Hello? That's Ash from Evil Dead! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, that was random sudden nerdgasm. It's, it's Ash from Evil Dead. I love Ash from Evil Dead. And, um... He has both arms. He is, again, like everyone else, covered in Kool-Aid or jelly out of a donut or something like that. Here's his his um, girlfriend, Zombina, and this is a, a zombie who had way too much Kool-Aid to drink. So he uh, threw up everywhere and apparently on the roof because it's all purple too. And also here's uh, it's another one of those nudist zombies that's shrieking back here. And he's, he's hiding because he's had a, a sudden bout of um, self-consciousness or something. I don't know. I'm, ignore me. I'm in a zombie apocalypse. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ignore that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rest for, say, three hours. Go ahead and rest for three hours. Hopefully, it'll uh, heal you two up, because everyone else is doing pretty good. I do, however, really need to start fixing my car, because I think it showed it was at like a forty percent health or something like that. Oh no, you are not healing fast enough. There, there we go. So one more hour will do it. It'll heal up meat shield, and squiggles will be really close. So we know we're gonna have a four-hour nap. It's fine. There we go. That's more like it. All right. So is there anything I can do to repair my car? I have zero scrap. That's awesome. Can I? Ooh, combat trainer! Yes! Do I have $73 and 80? Why? <laughs> so close. Grizzle trainer beckons you and teaches you to body armor take 20% less damage or, from losing a combat. From losing a combat. What, uh, are we talking about when I'm shooting at zombies and they bite me? Because that's not a combat, but I don't know, whatever. Either way, 
Let's see, there's not this. I guess I should probably scavenge or see what uh, jobs they have. What, what jobs do you have over here? So, $21. Normal difficulty for $21. There was a difficult one earlier for more than that. So there's a couple of troublemakers who have been stealing from us. Dispose of them. Huh. So am I fighting bandits or are bandits hiring me to shoot people? Maybe if I'm fighting bandits, I guess it's okay. It's like, they're like... Zombie space pirates, because we know I hate space pirates, even though they're not space anythings. Uh, I've got enough ammo. Mm, okay, I guess I'll, I gotta do it. I need the money, and it, it's uh, horrible times. Realistically, I probably wouldn't, but you know what? I need the money, and um, they're evil. They're, they're like, stealing to... Oh, okay. Oh, it's like that. Who? Oh, it's like that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, come on, stand up. Stand up, you douche. Uh, oh, come on. This is interesting. I like it. Oh, you stood up at the worst possible time. No, wait for it. Nyeh. Oh, I missed. I thread the needle again. No. No. Uh, this is cool. I like this. It's, uh, come on. It's like those old arcade uh, light gun shooter things. Oh, or like the NES version ones. Uh, come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Stand up. Stand up. How are you not dying? I'm shooting you in the back of the head. The back of your head is apparently made of titanium. Oh, that was so close. This is actually really cool. This is like a creative little thing right here. Come on. Nyeh. Nyeh. Okay, come on, shoot, just die. Okay, I need to actually do it this way. I think that's how it's said to aim. Come on. And fire! Do it, do it. Mm. So close. So close. So close. Could you just take chip damage? Can we, can we pretend this is a fighting game you take chip damage very slowly? Mm. I'm gonna waste all of my ammo on this one guy. Because I can't. Oh, I can't time this. So he has to be the furthest one away I could possibly be firing at. Yes! Uh, yeah, not only did I survive the attack, everyone else is dead. Which makes me a hero. Or something. I don't really know anymore. Alright, fine. Um, so we don't have money. I can do combat training. No, not that one. Where's the town? Can I do combat trainer? I've got $94, so I can now get, okay, 20% less uh, damage from losing combat. I have not lost single combat. But you know what? I think I want to take it. So let's go ahead and do that. Body armor! There is nothing new I can teach you. If I taught you how to be armored. What? Can I just buy body armor from this guy over here? It looks like the guy from uh, uh, Resident Evil 4. You know, what are you buying? What are you selling? It looks like that guy. All right, fine. So rationing. Rationing is still... I think we're doing really good on our food. Yeah, we're doing like really good on our food. So I don't want to go to large rations because it's going to eat up faster and I don't think I need it. I don't think it's going to do much. So we're going to go with that. And you know what we are going to do? Because we're about to hit the half hour mark of this video already. This game is a little bit slow. I apologize if it's slow, but I hope you guys are getting into this like I am. Because this is like, this is cool. It's like you actually have... Everything is important. It is super important to not screw this stuff up. Um, and all your decisions kind of matter here. All right, so uh, supplies. We got, few, we got enough fuel, I think. Mm, let's buy a little thing of fuel. Can I buy fuel? You've got no fuel. How do you have no fuel? Your entire town has no fuel? It's crazy. All right, so since we're getting close, I'm going to go to the next town. We're going to go to St. Louis, and that is where we're going to end this. So you wait an hour while Shiro vomits in the bushes. Shiro, were you out partying? It's the zombie apocalypse. It's not time to get crunk. Do people even say crunk anymore? I don't know. I just felt like saying crunk. Get wasted. Get tipsy. Get... All the words that mean the same thing. We got a lot of words for drunk. So a kid wanders by. Trick or treat. You give him one muffler. What does a kid need with a muffler? <laughs> I don't know. Why did you give him a muffler? Ah, oh, fine. I'm probably going to use that. A, it, also, again, there's another trick or treat thing. Is this themed because it's, um... Halloween's like in a week. I don't know. It's kind of cool though. Uh, so you find a backpack with some canned food and yay! I got rid of my muffler, but I found some food. That's good. Our station wagon's about to break. I'm gonna have to buy so much scrap. So you suddenly, uh, to avoid eating a zombie, everyone gets whiplash. Yay! Neck and spine damage. That's always a fun time. That won't hurt the zombie surviving at all. So much further we have to go. Only 80 miles. Yes. There it is. There it is. It's the arch. You found two med kits in a van and car. I've got so many med kits. I've got too many medkits. I'm probably gonna have to sell those for some scrap because my car is about to die. So there's a, there is an awkward silence. Is everyone? Oh, I thought their health was about to go down. We've made it to St. Louis, and this zombie, th this is not brains. The zombie has some toast on his head, and he's put jam on it. See, it's jam just for you. Look, he, the zombie's been eating all the jam. He's got all his fingers and his teeth. Why are his teeth like down here? Like, this is the bottom of his jaw, and it's teeth instead of a jaw. Either way, the end is near. Somehow you burned the top of the St. Louis Arch. I don't know how you did that. Not any other part of it. And these fires are, like, two city blocks wide. That seems really worrisome. How long has it been on fire? 
the zombie apocalypse has been going for weeks at this point. How is that still on fire? I have no idea. How's our uh, party doing? Hey, we're actually doing pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that. So I think that is probably a good place to end this episode because we're about to hit the half hour mark. So I hope you guys have enjoyed more Oregon Trail and all of the stupid zombie antics and squiggles and meat shield getting bitten by so many zombies because they're a bunch of idiots, but us surviving nonetheless and having all sorts of awesome post-apocalyptic fun times. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care, and I will see you next time.